Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly do appreciate it. Welcome to those of you new just tuning in. This is going to be a quick reading. Um, I'm going to keep it at like 15 minutes or less because I'm pressed for time. Uh, but it's general for the collective. We're going to see what um, is the masculine hiding. So we'll see what the hidden energies and then um, I'll clarify them further in the extended. The link to my uh, Patreon account is below if you want to uh, join with the extended. Uh, since this is general, that means it's not going to resonate with everyone out there. So please keep that in mind. I do offer personal readings. So if you want to book one of those with me, that information is going to be below the video description where it says show more. As well as all these decks I'm using here today. The majority of the items you see uh, will be listed below, including uh, my Instagram, TikTok information, um, the items in my Etsy shop, or the candles, sprays, uh, Buddha warmer, and the twin flame bracelet I'm wearing. I'm using the mystery candle, uh, mystery house candle for this reading. So if you hear me say he or she when I talk about the masculine or the feminine, I'm just talking about energies and not a specific gender. So the masculine or the feminine can be male or female. Just take it how it resonates or applies in your situation. Uh, the energies can definitely be flipped. So when I say I'm talking about you, I can be talking about whoever you're thinking about. Okay. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started with this reading. I'm just going to get one uh, set of cards instead of the three that I normally do because I'm like I said I'm uh, pressed for time but I wanted to get you guys a reading I wasn't even gonna get on yesterday so this is the wisdom of the oracle this will be the energy around the masculine at this time of what he's hiding from the feminine so we have between worlds so this masculine is transitioning right now he's in between uh, a, a place of seeing things from black and white into color so it's like he's going out of the darkness and coming into a more of a colorful world so whatever it was that he was uh his ways of thinking that is changing there's a transition going on with this masculine okay so maybe this was a, a particular masculine before that just only saw things from a black and white kind of perspective there's a transition out of this uh, energy we also have the number three there that could be significant um, as well I see threes as like third-party factors could be uh, friends family or even um, love interests or just you know another factor that's um, going on with the mouse but I'm just trying to push that back a little bit okay all right so let's see what is this between the world's energy what does this have to do with This is the uh, steampunk tarot judgment. Okay, so it's a day of reckoning here. Judgment is reviewing the past, getting out of the darkness, going into something more, opening your eyes, being open-minded to other things, other ways of life. So the angels are here to do this, make this judgment call. So there could be a transition out of a leaving a situation that's been um, holding this masculine back. Like I said, it could be a job, a family member, whatever it is. Um, judgment is about reconciling, reconciling the past. It's also about karmic, uh, you know, uh, karmic uh, cycles, uh, reviewing what took place uh, in the past. Okay, so there's something going on here with judgment here. We have number 20. That could be significant as well. Could have to do, uh, you translate that down to a two. It could have to do with a partnership. So this is my mystery house deck. If you live in the United States and you're interested in purchasing any of my decks, uh, please send me, uh, I mean, if you're in the United States, you can get it from my site or my Etsy shop. But if you're international, please send me an email below. I will send you the link to order. So let's get three cards here for what the mouse man is hiding when he isn't telling you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this mouse is dealing with uh, a karmic energy, a dark entity, a karmic, okay? And we have the best of wars. So there's acknowledge and a recognition that there is a karmic energy here. And then we have Halloween, celebration, special occasion, reunion. So this masculine could be acknowledging that there's a karmic energy around him. Maybe he's wanting to transition out of this. Maybe this is somebody in the past he 
uh, reconciled with. Um, he is going through a transition though, and if you notice, there's kind of like a black and color energy here. So there's definitely a major transition going on here. This could be connected for some of you guys uh, to Halloween. It doesn't have to be. It could just be there's a celebration um, going on because this masculine is transitioning out of that dark energy into something more colorful, uh, recognizing this is something that needs to, you know, um, to take place. So it does feel like this is a happy thing. This is a good thing um, that um, is taking place, getting out of that, you know, set way of thinking, that black and white uh, way of thinking. So let's clarify this energy uh, further. Let's see. What is this karmic or who is this karmic? I'm going to use these cards. This is the Kipper deck. Who is this karmic? Or what is this karmic? This dark entity energy that the masculine isn't telling the feminine about at this time. It has to do with the courthouse. Okay. So a relationship. Some of them involved in a court. This has been coming out a lot. We have 23. That could be significant. It's also a five. Um, so for some of them, they could be going transitioning out of a dark karmic cycle involving a court situation, um, legal paperwork involved. You see there's paper here. This also could be something that's being brought here. When I get this, uh, sometimes there's someone that brings something physical here. So something could be being brought or this masculine could have served this karmic or karmic served the um, masculine. So let me see if they'll tell me more about why this dark entity is here with the uh, karmic in the courthouse. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody is being left out in the cold here. Someone is being uh, put out in the cold. It might actually cause them a financial uh, setback or hardship. There could be children involved in here. And someone is uh, finally transitioning out of this uh, energy. So if some that are not actually uh, in a court matter, whatever their thoughts were on what they were tied to in a legal matter with this karmic, they're changing that. They're transitioning. Uh, they're they're doing a review. Like, is this something I should stay in? Should I keep on enduring this hardship and going through this situation with this this karmic? Because someone is acknowledging, recognizing that this is an issue. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what is this. Um, let me see what this hardship has to do. It could be a financial hardship. Some may have to pay out child support. This is the Intuit Oracle. What is this Five of Pentacles energy? So I see two fives there. So there's definitely changes. And that two fives equals ten. So we got two tens there. So there's definitely endings there with the judgment card. Yeah, this is the man. So this is a man that's transitioning out of here. So divine masculine or somebody that's connected to the masculine. Um, it says you or the querent, a person you know, boyfriend, fiance, spouse, love interest, masculine energy. So this masculine is going through some type of hardship, uh, feeling left out in the cold. He's transitioning. He's taking a look and he's reviewing the past for some of them. So let's see, what is this? Acknowledge recognition. Is that best award card that the masculine isn't telling you? Toil and labor, yeah. This masculine is acknowledging that they've been in the same daily hustle, the same routines, doing something they don't want to do. So this is 38. That could be significant. It's also 11. So this is also about coming into spiritual alignment, transitioning between worlds. Um, this is definitely having to do with something to do with work or something you don't want to do, which is something that's a risky behavior kind of uh, energy. Okay, so there's acknowledge and recognition about that. So let's see what this has to do with. This is acknowledge, recognition, energy. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, that someone wants a new beginning, a new opportunity, something solid in the physical. This is an offer. This is from the divine. Maybe this masculine is seeing that there is something that he can have. You know, maybe uh, it could be a new job, a new relationship, something solid. But or, or the relationship that he's currently in, he's acknowledging that this is not what he wants to do anymore because there is a karmic uh, energy around this masculine. Okay, so let's see what's this Ace of Pentacles energy. Okay, cards are flipping out. Number 17, this could be significant. It's also an eight. So this could be something that, you know, uh, it keeps happening or keep coming back around or somebody or this masculine is thinking about. Um, 
taking a risk towards a new opportunity, a career, a relationship. So we have stepping stone. So this is the process of arrival, baby steps. So this is progress. And it's how to keep going step by step, way out spiritual growth. So you say there is a spiritual growth energy. There's a transition definitely taking place with this masculine. But what is this celebration energy, this Halloween celebration, special occasion reunion? An ending. There's an ending taking place. I'm telling you, there's tens all over the place. Something is being ending. I mean, something is ending. There's a transition. There's a co coffin. The coffin is also about transition. So whatever this transition, though, is going to bring something special. It may actually bring about a reunion for some of you guys or a cause to be happy or a cause for this masculine to be happy because there is some type of ending. There's an ending to the daily routine the same old stuff a karmic energy feeling left out in a cold transitioning out of that area 19 could be significant i think i said that already is a 10 but let's see what is this uh celebration special occasion reunion here <laughs> the devil some of you guys are dealing with the capricorn Okay, so this is like you see they're they're in here. It's like they're working. They're trying to tame this beast. There's an end to this toxic energy, this karmic, this dark entity. That's what the, that's what the happiness is. It's a celebration that this is over, this is done, and you no know, more dealing with this toxic behavior. Whether it was this, I feel like it had to do with a karmic and a court matter or somebody that's legally tied. So let me see what this is, but it could be about pride and ego, but it's about trying to tame a beast. Like it's a done of dealing with that toxic energy. What is this devil energy? Pisces. So some of you guys are dealing with a Pisces. Um, it could be another water sign. This is a, like the page energy. So uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or, or Pisces. This is about taking that uh, first step as well. So we have within uh, six to nine months during the winter. So this could have taken this person six to nine months to do this or something that took place in the winter time or during February 22nd and March 21st. But we have here intuitive, dreamy, artistic, compassionate, um, sympathetic, perceptive, impressionable, tender, humane, uh, sensitive, the moon. Okay, so... The moon is I associate with uh, Pisces, but this is stuff that's hidden. So this is getting out of that transition and out of that toxic energy, being tied to something that is um, stopping you from transitioning out. And it's basically a day of reckoning is what's going on. So that's what the masculine is currently hiding from you is that he's going through some type of major transition, some legal matters with the karmic. They acknowledge in that they've been doing the same old thing. They don't like it. They want to balance it out there. Some of them may have to endure a financial hardship or some type of temporary hardship. Some may have to do with a family. Some are dealing with uh, water signs. Uh, uh, Pisces and um, some uh, could be a Capricorn there's that earth energy here as well so it could be another earth sign uh, Virgo or Taurus in the equation but there is some steps there's a transition and this is going to bring about a positive celebration special occasion reunion because someone has finally slayed this karmic dark energy and it's almost like I feel like someone is bringing justice. I feel like that's what's going on with this courthouse. This is what someone is bringing justice. So either the karmic serve the masculine, the masculine serve the karmic, or decided to put their foot down. But something is ending here. Okay, the daily routine judgment is here. It's a day of reckoning. Okay, so if that resonated for you guys, uh, please let me know by uh, liking the video, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Again, I'm going to take this over to the uh, extended. It will also be 15 minutes or less, most likely 10 minutes. And I will try to see if there's anything else the mouse gun is hiding uh, from you at this time with this energy. I'll just try to pull out uh, further stuff with that, okay? So if you want to join me, the link to my Patreon is below. Otherwise, I just want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Have a good day or night, whatever it is, where we are. And until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.